We're going to go down to Washington, where President Trump is holding his annual meeting with the nation's governors. At last night's ball, he said the Parkland shoot will be the first topic they discuss. Our senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, has the latest on what the president is proposing. Good morning, Cecilia. Hey, George, good morning to you. That meeting with the governors happens here in just a few hours. But this morning, the president seems to be at odds with the NRA over this idea of raising the minimum age for to purchase long guns. They are opposed to that idea, even though President Trump says they will end up backing it. At a black tie gala overnight, President Trump told the nation's governors school safety is a top priority. So we'll be talking about Parkland and, and the horrible event that took place last week. I think we'll make that first on our list. Among his ideas, a proposal to train and arm potentially hundreds of thousands of educators. And over the weekend, the president told Fox News, had teachers in Parkland, Florida been armed, there would have been more survivors. Most yes. of the people would be a whole different story. But Florida's own governor now among those flatly rejecting the idea. I want our teachers to teach. And I want, uh, I want our law enforcement officers to be able to protect the students. I want, I want each group to focus on what they're good at. And this morning, the nation's most powerful gun lobby faces growing backlash. At least 16 companies like Delta Airlines, MetLife Insurance, and Wyndham Hotels now say they cut ties with the NRA and ended discount programs. The group is standing firm in its opposition to raising the minimum age from 18 to 21 to purchase semi-automatic weapons like the one used in Parkland, something President Trump says he would consider. Perhaps uh, we'll do something having, you know, on age because... Right. It doesn't seem to make sense that you have to wait till you're 21 years old to get a pistol, but to get a gun like this maniac used in the school, you get that at 18. I mean, that doesn't make sense, and frankly, right. I explained that to the NRA. But the NRA says that plan is far from a done deal. I know that people are trying to find daylight between President Trump and five million law-abiding gun owners and law-abiding gun owners all across the United States. These are just things that he's discussing right now. So far, nothing's been proposed yet. Well, about arming America's teachers, even the president's own daughter, Ivanka Trump, says she's not sure whether this is a good idea. She was asked if guns in schools would make America's children safer. She said, quote, honestly, I don't know. There would have to be an incredibly high standard for who could bear arms in schools. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.